The beautiful month of Ramadan has come upon us. And for many of us, my brothers, Wallahi, it's unfortunate we don't know the value of this month. For many of us, the month of Ramadan has become a season. It's a month, one of the months of the year. But Wallahi, my brothers, the truth about this month is this month is a gift. It's a ni'mah. It's a blessing. This is the month of ibadah. This is the month of worship. This is the month that your soul and your heart has been crying for all year round. This is the month that, this is the month, my brothers and sisters, I take an oath by Allah. If you give this month its due rights, if you give this month its haqq, if you work hard in this month, Wallahi, you will go from zero to hero. I promise you. Wallahi, if you give this month its rights, you will reach the stage of awliya. I promise. This is the month, my brothers, where the doors of Jannah are open and the gates of hellfire are closed. It's the month of mercy. It's the month of forgiveness. So my brothers and sisters, I do not want you to waste this month. And this month, my brothers, I'm telling you, Allah gives. This is the month, my brothers, where every night Allah Azza wa Jal, every night in this month, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala looks down upon this Ummah and He handpicks the ones that He wants and He says, you will be saved from hellfire. Hellfire has been made haram on you. This is the month, my brothers, for those who want to work. This is it. I want you to imagine this month, my brothers and sisters, like this, you know. Really, this is the best analogy I can come up with. I want you to imagine the local bank here, Commonwealth or whichever bank, called you up and said to you, you know what, come here, man. They took you downstairs to where the big vault is there. And they said to you, look, you know what, we're going to open up our vaults today. Khalas, you've been chosen. We're going to open up our vaults today. Walk in and take whatever you please, whatever you want, as much as you can possibly take, take. You've got two hours, do whatever you want. I can see some of the boys, they're already doing these ones. <laughs> two hours, bro, I only need half an hour. I only need half an hour. But I want you to imagine the bank says, look, you got two hours, do as you please. Honestly, you tell me, in those two hours, are you going to rock up in a car or are you going to rock up in semi-trailers? Honestly, in those two hours when you're in the vault, you're going to be answering phone calls? You're going to be texting and WhatsApping and seeing what's happening on Facebook? Honestly, are you? In these two hours, do you have time for your friend? In these two hours, do you have time for half an hour nap here? Why is it for two hours of dunya? You know already. Everyone in this room understands perfectly well that in these two hours, no one talked to me. Don't invite me and I'm not going to invite you. Don't text me because I won't be texting you. With dunya, we understand the value. What about when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you this month the doors of Jannah are open? And He's telling you that the doors of hellfire are closed. Where will you be spending your time? This month is very special. Make an effort. Do not waste this month. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, you being alive to see this month, I promise you, it's a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A few years ago, there was a brother in Villawood. A few years ago, the night before Ramadan, I'm not telling you two, three nights or a week, the night before Ramadan, he had a car accident. It was him, his cousin and a girl in the car. The night before Ramadan, my brothers, Allah Azza wa Jal took his life. Ramadan came so close. But he was so far. So my brothers and sisters, do not waste this month. 